Hello my friends and welcome back to Dragon Age Inquisition. In yesterday's video we made our way back to Skyhold and things were different and people moved and people had lots of new things to say. So we ended the day talking to Bull, his chargers, and also to Krem. And there were a lot of extra floors in this little inn bar place to explore. So I want to go in and do that. And then I want to try and explore a little bit more of Skyhold. I probably it's am not going to get through all of it today because there's some things in Skyhold I do want to actually do. Um, so I'm probably not going to get through all the exploration today, but I would like to try to get through a small amount. So before I continue to babble for another, I don't know, minute or two, let's just get started and-, and The spiderwebs help stop the bleeding and they prevent wounds from getting infected. Gather as many as you can. The strangest thing though, I can't recall where I heard that. I think I remember Night a young man. Um, okay. Okay, second floor. Music is really loud again. Oh, Sutherland, who are you? I hope Hello. I can help somehow. Maybe cleaning? Oh, Inquisitor, I, um, I joined. Sutherland, your worship. I saw some bandits, so I came to warn people. I'll let your warriors know and then stay out of the way. Oh, new to the crew, a young, hopeful operation available. Okay. Okay, I love your songs, but you're really loud today for some reason. Of she who stands behind the throne. I perhaps casts a shadow across it. Nobility do not properly understand the word witch. I, who are we talking about? <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> um, okay. And then, oh, there's Sarah. And, nope, it's still Sutherland. Okay, Sarah's cabinet of wonder whose it was. <laughs> Delivered one cabinet suitable for a lady's curiosities if resources should be spent on such things, Sir Morris. Below, a comment and journal entries by Sarah, also doodles of Sarah with her tongue out. <laughs> Eat it, Morris. Stuff needs a place. She's got a banner, a lizard. <laughs> Rough and weird. Holla fake, real one stink, cards, little worlds, goblet, fancy cup, cup, Shit goblet, bottle, warden, strong bottle, to venture piss weak, stupid sword, there's a small blood stain, silk bolts, not arrow bolts, soft, make something. I think that minstrel Meriden is chatting me up. The song, that song is creepy. <laughs> oh, I like your Sarah song though, it's funny. Okay, well I've saved, let's, this is a nice little, I, I mean, there's her cabinet of stuff. <laughs> it's a nice little place to hang out. Do you sleep here? Can you go out on the roof? Because that's kind of cool. Okay, let's talk to Sarah. Hey you, I have an inquisitor favor to ask. Okay. Just a little thing, really. A little march around for some of your people. It's nothing for you, right? Um, shh, details first. Well, uh, I'm listening, go ahead. All right, let's hear what you've got. Jump right in, huh? Mm -hmm. I like that. It's a red Jenny thing. I got a tip that some noble stiffs are arguing over Vachel, land squabble. They're getting little people beat up. So I need you to go to your big table and send some people to walk through town. <laughs> Just walk through? Just walk through. Easy, right? I suppose. Uh, well, who told you about this, Sarah? Was this a tip from one of your friends? It's not a Jenny. Just normal angry people getting sick of being in the middle. I don't usually hear about things this far away. But having a friend like you is like getting really big ears. <laughs> Bigger ears, I guess. Yes. Shut up. <laughs> I was like, um, oh, Sarah, you're an elf. You kind of have bigger ears. <laughs> okay, um, who would I be working for? Who's asking for this? I'm asking because I heard people complaining. See, when nobles fight, it's not them. It's their little people stuck in the middle. It's like a polite war, so no one pays attention. But if you march through, the people up top feel threatened too. Stuff like this is always happening. Good sovereigns to be made if you're one of the few who notice. Uh, what's in it for me? I mean, I don't feel like that's Theron, but we'll ask it anyway, because I'm, I'm okay with that. What does the Inquisition get out of this? Nobles think everyone is out to get them. So when your helmets march through, both sides will think the other's your ally. Both get scared, both make deals. Worst case, you get a little bump among the people just because they see you active. Can't promise anything, but something will happen. 
Just like always. Okay, sure. I, I'll have my people look at it. I'm sure I'll get more details later. <laughs> All right, Sarah. I'll have someone look into it. It's fun, right? Being important without doing a thing. Well, not much of a thing. Not everything has to be torn skies and ancient assholes. <laughs> Every little thing makes a difference somewhere. Yes. Yeah, I was wondering, is it gonna, my big table is gonna be a, another war table mission, but I got a quest as well, so let's look at that. The Vershell Marge. Sarah says there's trouble in Vershell. She's asked me, she's asked for an Inquisition presence, a few troops to march through town to spook the nobles pushing around her people there. All right, well, that's easy enough. Um, I wanna ask more, but we'll, we'll do that later. Oh, it's Sarah's book, right? Yeah, Sarah's book. Or what is up here? Anything? Oh, it's Cole. Hello, Cole. He hates it all because of the darkness behind the door. Some doors should stay shut. Um, okay. Well, tell me about your past, Cole. I'd like to talk about what happened to you before we met. Before you, Reese was my friend. He showed me I was wrong to kill the mages. I thought I was helping them. Then he and Evangeline went to Adamant and I went with them. I was worried Evangeline would hurt Rhys. We found out dangerous things. It scared Seeker Lambert and he scared the mages. It started the rebellion. Um. Seeker Lambert told me what I was. Rhys couldn't look at me. I ran until I found more Templars. That's all. Huh, this sounds very complicated. Um, you went to Adamant? What can you tell me about Adamant Fortress? It is old, full of sadness and pain. It should be torn down. The veil is thin. We found a demon there. It had touched a man and made him real again. It scared Reese and Evangeline. The man wasn't supposed to be real. Then the demon found us. It put me back in the cupboard on the bad day. Reese and Evangeline saved me. It's like one of those things where it's like a, almost like a child trying to tell you a story because it doesn't quite make sense, but yeah. Okay, trying to wait for breaks between the singing because it's beautiful, but it's very loud. <laughs> so tell me of Seeker Lambert. You said Seeker Lambert told you what you were. I'm hiding Reese from him, but he chants words and sees. I won't let you hurt Reese. My nose explodes, a shower of blood. Just another parasite that's wormed its way into our world, feeding off all the things you can't have. What we found at Adamant made him angry. We were the first rock rolling at the top of a mountain. He had to stop us. He killed so many. He didn't care. Cold, corrupt. So I came and killed him. So you killed Seeker Lambert? Um, okay. So why go to the Seeker Fortress? If you hated Seeker Lambert, why go to the Seeker Fortress? Because he was right. I was a demon. Oh. I saw demons at Adamant. They put people in the dark, in the old hurts. I didn't want to be that. I heard the old songs of the Templars at Val Royo and followed them. If I forgot, fought, fell to felling, Templars would kill the demon. I wouldn't hurt anyone again. Um, okay. <laughs> I feel like this is one of those things where his conversations will make way more sense when I watch it again. And I'll be like, oh, that's what that meant. <laughs> so you were at the rebellion. What was the spire like when the major rebellion started? Dead and dying, begging mm. and bloody. Some wanted freedom, some peace, some war. Some wanted it all to stop. Evangeline was a Templar, but she helped Reese help the others. She set them free. Adrian was a mage, but she killed mages to force the fight. She wanted blood. Reese just wanted to help, to stop people hurting. Maybe that's why he saw me. Maybe. Sounds like Reese was. Yeah, Reese was his friend and was the mage, and Evangeline was the Templar, and then evil Seeker Lambert, bad Adrian, who was a ma bad mage. So try slowly piecing things together the more we get through these questions. So Reese was your friend. What can you tell me about Reese? He 
He was a mage. He saw me when most couldn't, and he remembered. He helped me, and I watched over him. I worried Evangeline would hurt him. She was a Templar, but she didn't like hurting people. When I left, she stayed. Now she watches over him. They should have been with the rebels. Maybe they ran away together instead. Neither of them like killing. Well, that's sweet. I could find them if you want. If you like, I could use the resources of the Inquisition to locate your friend. No. If they are alive and safe, they should stay away. The last time he saw me, he didn't want to look at me. He saw a monster. Mm. Let him forget. Oh, you killed mages. Bad mages, maybe. What did you mean when you said you killed mages? Some of the mages at the Spire wanted to die. Too sad, too scared, too much. I didn't know what I was. A ghost, I thought. Fading in the fade. When I came to them, they could see me. I used the knife to set them free. When Reese found out, he made me stop, made me understand. There were other ways to help. I didn't know. Huh. You made a mistake, you're a murderer, you set them free. Well, it seems like Cole, uh, he seems very childlike in his understanding of emotions and things. Like, so it, it seems like he was mistaken until Reese told him otherwise? It sounds like you didn't know what you were doing. Yeah. No, I killed people. I knew. I just thought I had to. Okay. They were hurting, helpless, haunted. It was all I could do. It was wrong. I was wrong. If I start again, you or Cassandra or Cullen need to kill me. Okay. I don't think Cassandra and Cullen will have a problem with that. I'll talk to you <laughs> later. Probably. Probably. <laughs> Locate Reese and Evangeline Operation. Oh, we'll, we'll need to do that. They should have been born together, but instead they were bound by light. I don't know what that means. Um... Okay, I, I wanted to ask this, you've done odd things, but now he has more, <laughs> he has so many questions. Okay, you've done odd things. I've heard about some oddities here in the keep. Was that you? Yes, maybe. What was it? Um, you left plums by the window? Someone is leaving peeled plums on the windowsill. It's attracting flies. Spiders need to eat. Oh yeah, and spider webs help healers. We heard that as we were coming in. And healers need something to treat infected wounds, like spider webs. The plums are already dead. They don't mind helping. <laughs> I'll talk to you later. Oh, Probably. Cole. You are a oh, little Cole. She knows they're going to kill her. Can only save what's important. Precious space to remember her smile. Okay, let's um, ask about Templars. I'd like to talk with you about Templars. They're heavy with forgotten songs, like Varric. Some of them are too loud. It's hard to stay near them. Cullen is softer, but demons asked questions that hurt him. Evangeline was kinder. I want to explain, but I... Reese's mother spoke to spirits, but not to him. Then she died for a Templar he loved. Words just bounce off the edges. Uh-huh. Uh... -huh. uh what do you think of them? What's your general opinion of Templars? Some like hurting mages. It makes them happy, or less afraid, or dreams again. Woke up shaking, stalking the ground for one who looks like her. Always some rule being broken. But not all Templars listen when whispers crawl around inside them. They try to protect people, like Cullen. Okay. The good ones remember that mages are people. Okay, how explain how Templars feel. Can you tell me more about how the Templars feel to you? They feel older than they look. They've been changed and their bodies are incomplete now. Mm. The lyrium helps, but their bodies always want to connect to something older, bigger than they are. That's why they block magic. They reach for that other thing, and magic has no room to come in. Like when I listen to Varric. What about Red Templars? Can you tell me more about how the Red Templars are different? 
The red lyrium is different, darker, daggers under the skin. It eats you inside until you're nothing. They hear a different song. The song behind the door old whispers want opened. They are dead and dark and done. Okay. I'll talk to you later. Probably. <laughs> Probably. I know he has more to say, but I, I kind of want to spread it out a little bit because it's it's a lot of stuff you got to kind of figure out what he means. What is this door? I'm guessing this door goes out to the... Oh, now it goes up to a bedroom. Okay, hang on. Let's 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 look at the map here. Okay, so we're upstairs. Let's go um, back this way, I think. Oh, hello. There's guards here now. That's slightly more comforting. Um, and this is where we talk to Hawk, but Logan's here now. Okay, let's talk to him. Yes. Okay, I guess not. <laughs> I'll talk to you later. <laughs> Where's Hawk? Did you, what did you do with her? Where is she? I want to find her. Oh, it's the bunk beds from um, Dragon Age 2. Did you guys, oh, they fixed it. I can walk down. Okay, so the, this is outside because Cassandra's right down here. Oh, that's so cool. I want to go up here. <laughs> And I want to go over there. And I want to go to all these places. Is this one open? Can I go in here? I can't. And then... Wow, this place is so huge. Oh, look, there's another balcony over there. And this comes down on the... Hang on. Oh, there's a garden. There's a little pretty garden. <laughs> Sorry, I'm totally like shiny penny. <laughs> Let's go back in here. I'm gonna have to spread out this exploration of Skyhold because it's so huge. I'm concerned though that every time I come back it's gonna change, so I, I will need to make lots of visits here. Let's go up and. Oh, I guess we can go up again. And. Let's save. Look how high up I am. I mean, seriously. Okay, can't, I can't, I'm trying, I'm testing this for science. Let's, oh, my stomach's gonna drop out. Nope, I can't, I can't jump down. All right. Well, let's go and do the couple things that I wanted to actually do that I thought I was gonna do yesterday, but I got distracted with new things at Skyhold. So the first thing I haven't flagged is that I did not finish this, um, Okay, I don't want to go in the garden yet. I want to discover it properly. I want to, oh, I can go to my map and here and here. Oh, quest. I can't fast travel there, but I can fast travel to the throne room. There we go. Um, so I did the Arcanist, 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 one of those. I, I've noticed that I keep saying words wrong, like, um, Oh, well, that was in Witcher. I kept saying things wrong. Kind of embarrassing. But anyway, I'm off to, again, off topic. Um, wow. What? Wow. Sorry. They filled in the hole. That was the roof. They got rid of all the stuff. And there's a lot more people in here now. Oh, there's things to read and stuff to do. Okay. Someone emptied a whole bag of turnips into the fire. Ah, oh, make it. The smell is everywhere. I was going to use them for dinner and then... I can't recall who took them. Probably Cole, I guess. So as I was saying, very poorly, is that I... I don't know how many videos ago. I did the War Table quest to get the Ar Arcanist, Arcanist here. And it's under Skyhold. And I needed to go into the Undercroft to craft a rune with this person. So now that I've taken forever to just explain that... Let's go into the Undercroft and do this quest. And there was another quest or two I wanted to do as well. Inquisitor? Hi. The Arcanist has arrived. You should see for yourself. What is that? And that... 
Oh dear, who is at my house? Castle. Compound. Hello there. Stand there slack jawed. Let's figure out what you need. Dagna. Like Origins Dagna? Or the magical advisor? Oh, you're him. The Inquisitor. I'm Dagna. Arcanist Dagna. It's an honor, your worship. Is that it? The hand anchor mark? It's pretty. Mm, Reach was pretty too. In a destroy everything sort of way. Yeah. <laughs> Um, uh, you're not what I expected. I, yeah, you're like the last person I expected. You're not quite what I was expecting. You're a dwarven arcanist? The only one. When you learn things everyone says you can't, you get to be the first. I don't need to tell you. Uh-huh. I've looked at Herod's devices. The precision is fantastic, but typical. Mundane. Old thinking. Is what now? <laughs> no disrespect meant to the classical trades, but... You need a new perspective. I've made adjustments. As long as I keep making them, you can craft just about anything. Almost safely. Almost safely? Um, okay, hang on. Let's talk later. I want to get away from the I'll waterfall. see you later, Dagna. I can't wait. Ready to answer the great mysteries. It'll be wonderful. Okay, let's ask all these questions now. All right. What are your skills? What is it you do, exactly? I was born to the forge. That's literal in this mythcast. So the hammer and tong, that's like a heartbeat. But you've a man for that already, and a good one. I'm here because of my passion for magic. Magical study, magical theory, magical enchantment, and through it, the manipulation of masterworks. Uh -huh. I studied it all with an objective eye. No secrets, no fears. That lets me apply principles like no other. Maybe one other, but I don't have that wonky of a mind, so I still kind of win. Hmm. Who are you? Are you talking about Sandal? Um, you can make masterworks. I remember getting um, recipes for those. You have the ability to make exceptional weapons and armor. Masterworks? There's an art to the forge, as well as enchanting. You need an ear for it. And hands. Eyes, too. Nothing bad to say about Herod on that front. He's, he's wonderful. But there's this little more needed. With the right bits, an edge can be more than an edge. Armor can do more than protect. A hue can be just a bit brighter. In short, smithing can be... more. <laughs> In short. Oh dear. <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna lie. It would have been way cooler if Sandal was here with, um... Oh god, what's his his dad's name? Odan. That would have been so cool. Because then they would have been each one. Maybe they'll still show up. They, they could show up, right? They could totally be here. They're totally not going to show up, are they? <laughs> okay, tell me about enchanting. What's the story with enchanting? Lyrium is the heart. In certain rational patterns, it beats like something alive. That's how I see it. So, a mage can make your weapons do things, but with the right runes, the right rarities, your toys become wonders. It's the one thing mages can't do. It drives them mad. Literally. Dwarves are resistant, so it doesn't affect us. Mostly. Mostly? Okay. Another time, Dagna. Of course. Bring me what you want made, and I'll make sure it goes just right. Ready to answer the great mysteries. It'll be wonderful. Yeah, I bet. Okay, where did you study magic? Where does a dwarf go to study magical theory? Get out. I asked myself that question for years. Turns out, not in Orzammar. I had to start at a circle. I had help, though. A Grey Warden, and I am forever grateful. With that sanction, I visited a half dozen circles. The wonders I've seen. And with an objective eye, I can spot where they overlap. That's a surprise for every teacher. It's a grand tradition, and it works so well with new thinking. Hmm. Yeah, Edward Helper. So it definitely is the Dagnet from Origins. I thought it was, but yeah, definitely her. So, a Grey Warden, Edward? Oh. You mentioned a Grey Warden who helped you start your studies? Not any Grey Warden. THE Grey Warden. 
The hero of Ferelden is a hero in Orzammar, too. It's incredible that someone like the hero of Ferelden would stop to help the little people. Literally. <laughs> I miss Edward. Well, you must have learned a lot. The warden sounds bad. Well, let's talk more about Edward. I miss him. <laughs> the warden affected you in a special way. Talk to anyone, they'll say the same. It was a dark time. There was one light. He saved us. He saved me. You gave up your home. You gave up so much. Left your home. Was it really that amazing? Yes. I left my home and my family, but I knew... I just knew I could be more than a smith. I wish my people weren't stuck in the past, and I regret that my father couldn't imagine another life for me. But I don't regret what I did. So, I know when I was filling out the Dragon Age Keep, um, apparently, well, obviously, you could not do her quest in Orzammar, and she stays there. So does she not show up? Does someone else show up instead? I wonder. You have to let me know. Uh, you must have learned a lot. Your years of study have paid off. Oh, yes. The mage said I brought a valuable perspective. I've even presented my work to the College of Enchanters. Oh. I wanted an exchange. The surface could learn about lyrium smithing, and Orzammar would gain knowledge of magic. But now there's no college. And so far as the Shaper is concerned, I'm castless. Yeah. So you're getting my best work, Inquisitor. Let's make some great stuff. Okay. All right, rein it in. You have work to do. <laughs> right, sorry. I get carried away when I think of it. Ready when you need me. Yeah, and yeah. Well, how are you? I'm fine. Why did you agree to join us? You were quick to join the Inquisition. Is there something you want? How could I waste a chance to get close to you? And Corypheus? My goodness. And actual physical rifts in the veil? Um, also dwarves? We don't dream. So when mages talk about it, I can only, well, dream what it would be like. So there's that, and all the things you'll probably find, and what I'll get to make. The rules are different here. Plus, you're paying me a lot. Like, wow, so much. <laughs> Apparently we should not pay you as much then, or something. I just noticed the, in the background here, the model of Skyhold-ish, and the picture on the place where you go make customizations to Skyhold. That's very cute. So let's talk about your title. What qualifies you to be an Arcanist? I took the title because I'm a magical researcher, philosopher, and master of practical application. And I like it. I can't actually do magic because I'm a dwarf, but that also means no risk of possession. Safer than a mage. It means that every skill I have, I've learned. Through reason and understanding. Coming from the Smith cast, I know the value of mastering a craft. Did you know dwarves invented enchanting? Probably. I, I didn't know that, actually. So, you noticed the anchor. You seemed impressed by the anchor. What does it look like to you? I heard what everyone says what you heard Corypheia say. That's a long chain of who said what's. <laughs> to me, it says key. But keys do a lot of things. Open, lock, switch. Some open one thing, some open everything. It sounds like Corypheus made it to open. But it looks like you can use it to close. It may be that simple. It sure is pretty. Wish I could see through it. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, I want something crafted. Dagna, show me what you can do. Do you want fire? The first ask is always fire. It's fire, isn't it? No. Here's how it goes. Bring me the rare stuff for enchanting or masterworks and prep it here, just like normal. Except it's not normal. It's manipulation of primal forces. And I'll make sure it goes just right. You'll see. Let's see together. Okay, so I need to craft a rune in the Undercroft. Um, is it under weapons, maybe? Um, this one? Crafting a rune. I don't have the stuff to do it. I need a blank rune stone. Okay, well that stinks. <laughs> oh, my quest is complete anyway. <laughs> that, that was easy. Right? Completed quests, and then Skyholds, uh, ring crafting. Okay. Um, but then she said Masterworks. It, I can make those now? Okay, so let's go to this one. I don't want to make that one. Um, okay, is this a Masterwork? This is a Masterwork. What is that? 
10% chance to inflict chain lightning damage. Oh, so I can basically, yeah, you enchant it up. Give yourself a special proc or something, something. We'll look, we'll have to look through all that later, but that's for a different day because <laughs> I'm at time for today. And tomorrow we're going to go to the war table. There's several quests quest I want to get started there. One of them has to do with my specialization because that's the other quest I wanted to do today, but I can't because we're at time. I could, but we're still at time. So this is what I want to do so I can get my specialization going. And then from there, we'll probably head out of Skyhold and spend a day, I don't know, questing somewhere. I'll, I'll figure out where, but, but that is that. And let's have a moment where this is like really cool. It's like the waterfall and the stalactites of ice and the stalagmites of ice and all that stuff. But anyway, again, off topic and I babbled for another minute. So as always, thank you so very much for watching. Please do keep yourselves safe and I will see you again tomorrow with another new Dragon Age Inquisition video.